the root of the issue. Follow the problem to the root. Locate the source and you might stand a chance of stemming all the issues that ensue from there. What we seem to have is a vast set of issues, keeping everyone chasing their tails and being pushed from pillar to post with commands and regulations, rules and charts, models and projections. And somehow everyone is expected to and is supposed to function within that. Well, I hate to call it, as many already have, but this is not working. The response is not at all proportionate to the event, and on the face of it, it looks simple, to a point. They want to make more people take more vaccines, at least every few months. Whether that be purely for the money agenda or the depopulation agenda, who knows? But it is not about health, that much has been made very clear. In order to have the powers to keep coercing and blackmailing people, they need to keep the emergency powers and new laws they made up to facilitate their actions. Therefore, they have to keep the pretense of overwhelming illness to keep the emergency powers. If they declare the pandemic over, then they no longer have the powers, can no longer introduce regulations and can no longer push their jab agenda. But the main point should be here, even if we were in a health crisis and the NHS did get overwhelmed, would it seem normal or reasonable to shut away millions, yes, millions of healthy people to save that institution? You wouldn't be saving people's lives as they are turning people away and sacking people. So what are you saving? A money-guzzling, badly run weapon of coercion? Where they hold your healthcare to ransom? Doesn't sound like something I want to be part of. Unfortunately, like everyone else, I have been funding it my whole life so I am good enough to take money from, obviously, but not to be afforded the promised service when said money was taken, and to have my valuable time interrupted or threatened because a business cannot manage itself effectively is not something I am willing to accept. Let's be honest here, the NHS hasn't been able to cope for quite some time now and should not be wielded as a weapon or tool of bribery against people, whatever their health status or standing in society. So, it would appear that across the board, the intimated social contract between citizen and government has been breached by the institution that itself created it. It has overstepped a very personal and intimate boundary by suggesting or deciding that millions of people shall be excluded from the basic necessities required for living. At what point do the millions become the majority? Will we honestly let people starve in the streets with shops full of food? because someone told us they weren't allowed any. And what is it that allows all these things to happen? Ultimately, people, and I will get to them, but they do it by way of regulations and mandates. Someone introduces a rule, and then someone else follows them or breaks them, and then someone else enforces them, and then someone else punishes them. You can see how easily the responsibility can be shirked here. What if the starting rule is wrong or stupid or doesn't make sense? If no one questions it or stops it at that point, it then becomes normal when clearly it isn't. And you begin to become part of the topsy-turvy world that runs alongside the logical, reasonable world that exists. Sometimes, possibly only existing in and being aware of one at any one time. I don't know other people's abilities with dual or multiple realities. But this whole debacle has really highlighted to me how just because you have always done something one way, is no reason to keep doing it once it has failed. Just because it used to work is no reason to keep it. It is beyond me why we are still blindly following 650 or so elected people who appear to have never done an actual day's work in their life, have no connection with or ability to relate to the average person and giving them the same responsibility to knowingly steer us towards disaster. Logic and reason can prevail, but only if courage and bravery are present. I want so much for there to be the fight left in people to stand up and help move us in the right direction. We must not be fighting to save what we had. That wasn't working and helped to set up where we are now. We need a new way.